Hello Scorpios. So this is the reading I got for you guys for the month of September. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use uh, the bonus spread um, that I typically do um, for this reading. Okay. Um, so this spread is going to represent what you left in the past pertaining to your love life, what you don't know about your love life, what's in the near future of your love life, what's in the future of your love life, what's really going on, and what's going to be the outcome and the general energy. Okay. So you start with what you left in the past pertaining to your love life. So I do got the full card. Um, so this can actually mean like you, you stop being foolish. You stop being naive. You stop, um, seeing things, um, for, you stop seeing things based on what someone trying to show you. Okay. Um, another way this can go with the full card, even though this is something which you left in the past, it can just represent that you did start something new and you are in a new connection, a new relationship, okay? Now, when I clarify the full card, I have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have um, started a relationship, and this relationship is way much better than your past, okay? Now, if you are single, I just feel like a lot of you guys feel way happier. Um, you feel like things are actually balancing out in your life, and you feel like, yeah, you feel like you made the right choice, okay? You are embarking on a new journey, okay, without someone, um, without your past, basically. Now, what you don't know about your love life, I got the three cups, okay? So three cups does represent reunion, and it can represent third party, okay? Now, when I clarify the three cups, I got the five of cups, the ace of swords, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. Um, so I feel like there's gonna be three Scorpios. Okay. So for the first Scorpios, you guys left the past, okay? You guys start dating other people. Now your past um is feeling sad, okay, and now they're trying to rush in. But at the same time, when they're trying to rush in and trying to make something work out with you, they're dealing with someone else, okay? For the other Scorpios, okay, you have met someone new, okay? This person, when you first was getting to know them, everything seemed perfect, everything seemed good, but this person's probably dealing with someone else, okay? And it's putting you in a stuck situation, okay? Now, for the other Scorpios, your past is trying to come back, even though they put you through the third party situation, okay? Um, they're trying to come back, and I feel like they're going through a very tumultuous um, phase in their life, okay? Um, wh whoever they was with that they cheated with, I feel like that person did them wrong, okay? Did them dirty, and it's, I feel like it's karma. For them and they're trying to come back okay because they realize it's like they have an epiphany moment that the grass wasn't agreeing on the other side um but also they realize the true essence of what is love and i feel like you were love to them okay that's what i'm pretty much getting so i got three scenarios okay um now What's in the near future of your love life? I got the Ten of Swords, okay? So I do see you ending something. So if this is, if you are in a new connection, I feel like you are going to find some form of truth, okay, where you are going to end something, okay? Now, when I clarify the Ten of Swords, I got the Six of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, oops, the five of, Pentacle, five of Wands, and the Ten of Wands, okay? Yeah, so I feel like, yeah... Some Scorpios, you guys were dealing with someone who was new. They were dealing with someone else, and it, this person could have been a pass of them, a pass of theirs, okay? And you dropped the situation, okay? Um, you feel like it's not worth it, and it isn't, okay? Now, for the other Scorpios, again, this can just represent the past who was putting you in a third-party situation trying to come back, okay? Uh and again, for some of you Scorpios who is the, the passage is trying to come back, they're going through a rough phase in their life, like really rough, 
Okay, that's what I'm pretty much getting. Now, what's in the future of your love life? I got the King of Cups, okay? Now, when I clarify the King of Cups, I got the Strength card and the Queen of Swords, okay? So, with these three cards being here, So yeah, with the with these three cards being here, again, I feel like someone is trying to I actually got the five of swords too. So I feel like someone is trying to save face, okay? And they are gonna try to show that they love you, okay, and they wanna make the situation work. But I feel like a lot of you guys are not gonna make it work with this person, okay? Because you see that Either you feel like because of the other situation not working out for them, you feel like they trying to make you a second choice, okay? And that's another reason why you're going to let them go. And another reason why is because you know who they are, okay? You know that this is not the right connection that you want to be with. Even though they may come off as the King of Cups, you know that they're really the Five of Swords, Okay? Now, what's really going on in your love life, I got the Knight of Swords, okay? And then I also got the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So now, this is going to pertain to the Scorpios who are in a relationship and your past is coming back. Not you are in a, in a new relationship and no past is coming back. It's just that their ex, your new partner ex is trying to interfere or their they're cheating with your new partner, okay? But I feel like this is going to relate to the Scorpios where you are in a new relationship, but your past is trying to come back. Your past, okay? Um, this person is going to try to interfere, but again, I feel like a lot of you guys are not going to give in, okay? You're not going to fold, okay? You guys are going to continue to be in that new relationship with the Ace of Cups being there. Now, with the outcome, I get the Three of Swords, Okay, um, so I feel like what the card is trying to say is that listen to your intuition. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to make the right choice. But for some of you guys, you may, you may try to see what the past is about. Okay, and that's going to lead to being heartbroken at the end. Now, if your past is not coming back, but you're dealing with someone new and their ex is coming back or they was dealing with their ex while you guys were together, let the situation go because it's showing that it will still be a third party situation, okay, with the Three of Swords being there. Now, when I clarify the Three of Swords, I got the Chariot, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups, okay? Especially if you're, if you're dealing with a Cancer. It doesn't matter if this is a new Cancer or old Cancer, okay? But especially if you're dealing with a Cancer, especially... It doesn't matter if it's new or old, but if it's a new cancer, I feel like they're definitely dealing with someone else and this person is from their past. It's not even a person that they just met or they met during the same time they was meeting you. No, this is someone from their past. This is going to particularly be if you're dealing with a cancer, okay? Avoid that situation, <laughs> okay? Um, now, I do got the general energy of the two cups, Okay? So, with the Two of Cups, yes, it does represent love, but what I'm getting from this spread is about juggling. I feel like someone is definitely juggling, okay? Now, if it's not you or your partner, it can just represent your past is um, trying to come back, okay? You got to make that choice of letting them go, okay? Um, now, for the Ron's Angels, I got trust, let go of control issues, um, new love, and worth waiting for, okay? So with trust and let go of control issues, um, I feel like this is trying to say, having that inner knowing that the right connection is gonna come to you during the right time, okay? And with new love and worth waiting for, again, I feel like, again, a lot of you Scorpios are either in a new relationship and there is interference from your past. Now, if it's your, if it's your partner past, and they're dealing with them, that's not the person for you, okay? Let that go. I'm not talking to those type of Scorpios. But for this particular section, um, I feel like the Scorpios who have a new person, but the past is trying to come back, let that past person 
go completely, okay? Because this person is trying to interfere what you have, okay? Because they know that this person is going to be the one for you. Now, when I clarify trust and let go of control issues, I got the Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, I feel like what the card is trying to say is definitely listen to your intuition, okay? And with the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, listen to your intuition because I feel like it's going to help ground you, okay? Help you make the right choice. Now, when I clarify new love, I got the Page of Cups and the World, okay? So, yeah, there is a new cycle happening, okay? Now, with the Page of Cups, yeah, with the Page of Cups, it's like a new. Both of these cards represent new energy, okay? So, there is new love coming through. So, if you are single, continue to remain single because I do see your past energy trying to interfere with your progression, just continue to be on the path of newness. Now, with worth waiting for, I got the justice, okay? So the justice represents Libra, and Libra, the symbol of Libra is hourglass, which represents time too. Um, so I feel like, again, for the Scorpios who have been single for quite some time, and your ex all the time trying to come back, you on the right path, your person's about to come through. Just don't fold. Don't give in, okay? Continue to move forward in your journey, okay? Now, for the Oracle spread, I got Ageless Beauty. Also got I Embrace My Body. And I also got Soul's Truth, okay? So with Soul's Truth and I Embrace My Body, again, I feel like this is trying to say, listen to your intuition. Some of you guys have been having dreams that your ex is coming back or that your current partner is dealing with someone else. Then listen to that, okay? Um, women tend to be very intuitive and usually your dreams are premonitions, okay? Um, so I feel like what the cards are trying to say, definitely listen to your intuition because I feel like it's right on the money, okay? And it's going to help you... Um, Help you make the right choices if you actually um, understand the meaning of the dreams, okay? Now, with Ageless Beauty, okay, this can represent for the Scorpios who have been single for quite some time, okay? Um, knowing that love is going to come through during the right time, okay? Not seeing love as an expiration date, like it have an expiration date, okay? But yeah, so this was a very interesting reading because I got three different scenarios, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm seeing for some Scorpios, you guys are in a happy relationship, but your past is trying to come back. Don't just don't inter entertain the past. Now for some Scorpios, you are dealing with someone new, but this person is dealing with their past. I mean, dealing with their past. Okay. And this person might be a cancer. So avoid that person. And then for the single, um, Scorpios, again, the past energy trying to come through. Okay. But yeah, that's the reading that I got for you, Scorpios. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenforthetarot at gmail.com.